Hello, it's me, Tamika. <laughs> I'm here. I thought today we could do a little chatty, get ready with me and just catch up a bit. I feel weird just like posting a video to YouTube of like whatever and not like talking about, hang on a minute, you haven't uploaded it for like a month. <laughs> so anyway, that's where we are today. If you are ready to just sit down and chill and have a little chat, then excellent, let's get into it. I have just applied a primer. I use the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Absolutely loving this, cannot get enough. <laughs> and then for foundation, I thought I would try out the new L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. If you've been around my channel for a while, you would know how much I love the original True Match foundation. It is absolutely beautiful. So I was very excited to see that they released a like a tinted serum. So I'm assuming this is going to have lighter coverage and it says it's really hydrating. So it's got hyaluronic acid and on the back every claim has something to do with hydration. So I have the shade 0.5 to 2, very light. So the shade range is a bit smaller than the True Match, which is what a lot of brands do with like tints and things like that. Let's do what I usually do and just pop some on with my concealer brush. I'm not going to cover up any of my blemishes because I like to see how much coverage the foundation gives. I have a feeling the sponge is going to sheer it out quite a bit. But let's see, let's see. Okay, so far the shade looks all right. Definitely givering, givering. It's definitely givering, oh, I said it again. <laughs> It's definitely giving a very light coverage. Oh, I kind of like it. I like it. All right, so what has been going on? Hello, I'm excited to be filming again. I feel like, <laughs> I don't want this video to just be like a bunch of excuses, but I feel like I have to explain. I don't know, I know I don't have to explain, but I'm not like a hardcore people pleaser, but I'm a little bit of a people pleaser. <laughs> I just want you to know that like I miss being here. The last month has been rough. Just like overwhelm to the maximum. See, I don't really know how to explain it except for the fact that I have just been feeling so overwhelmed with everything. And I definitely think I reached a point of complete burnout. I was at a point where like I had a really rough I think two weeks just like yeah the overwhelm the burnout and then I had something happen within my family which got me down even more and just with work I don't know just everything I was just done and there was a good week where I think I cried like every day just just because like <laughs> I don't know, you know, when things just get to you that much. Like I remember one day my car's been having a lot of troubles too, which is just stressing me the F out. <sighs> so like it was meant to be fixed. And then I took it to a different mechanic to diagnose it because it was still leaking. And then he said all the things that were meant to be fixed weren't fixed. So then I took it back to the original mechanic. And then he was like, nah, that's all fine. It's another problem. And I remember when he called me to tell me it was another problem. I was literally fighting back tears on the phone. Like he must've thought, <laughs> What's up with this girl? But I was just like crying over everything. Like, oh my God, I don't even know. <laughs> and then I had a counseling session, I'm pretty sure that night. And I was like, I do not want to go. I can't be bothered. I've had a big day at work. I just want to be left alone. But I ended up doing it and it was so good. I feel like those counseling sessions are always the best when I really, don't feel like doing it. I'm like, nah, leave me alone. No one talk to me. But then they end up being really helpful. <laughs> okay, I really like the look of this. I feel like my skin still looks natural. It looks hydrated. And the coverage actually built up. Like this is pretty decent coverage. Let me get a little mirror. Like at the moment, I would say it looks like the original True Match, probably a little less coverage but finish wise, it looks quite similar. I did have to blend the shade down my neck quite a bit, but if you're after a light coverage, you can get it. And then if you want to build it up, you can also get it. Hmm, I like it. All right, I just need to put my hair up because 
I'm sweating. <laughs> So yeah, it's just been a little bit crazy. And then I was talking to the counselor. She's like, Tanika, when was the last time you had like a break? And I'm like, well, you know, I get an extra day off work here and there, which is really nice. And she's like, a day? I'm like, yeah, it's just a good break, you know, <laughs> have an extra day off. She's like, when was the last time you had a holiday? I'm like, hmm. And then it got me thinking and it's been, three years since I've actually like stopped everything and gone away for a holiday. Now I know we did go on a honeymoon that was for like three days, but the emotions of a wedding is just the biggest roller coaster, the biggest roller coaster. So it was nice to debrief for those few days, but I haven't had an actual like good long break for a while. And when I think about the last three years, I'm like, okay, we started planning the wedding that got postponed, which took the biggest toll on me. I've never experienced such down feelings as I did after postponing. Like I've never felt like that before. And then once I kind of, you know, dealt with that a little bit, like to, you know, continue just with day-to-day -day life, we were like, all right, well, we've postponed a year. Let's start working on the house. And oh my God, <laughs> buying land and building a house has just been one of the most stressful things I think I've ever done, ever. Clinton and I were laughing the other day because we remember when we first went to the bank and he was like, oh, people just prefer to buy houses. Like, it's just a bit easier. And we were like, but why wouldn't they want the fun of building their own house? And now we're like, oh. This is why. So we did that and like these are all really great things. Like I know I'm not like I know I'm very grateful that we're able to do these things and achieve these things as well. But um very big draining draining moments. So anyway, building the house and then start replanning the wedding and also just dealing with the emotions of a global pandemic like like, I think we all just kind of brush it off like it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. No one, like, we've never experienced anything like this before. Like, what is going on? Like, in Queensland, we haven't had um, really long lockdowns, but we have had several lockdowns, and it's freaking stressful. So, there's that. <laughs> and then, so, starting to replan the wedding um, during the time of also building a house... Like it was just, it was just hectic. And like, if you watched my wedding vlogs, you would have seen that a few days leading up to the wedding, I was dealing with bank stresses and that was just like getting me all kinds of, oh, like I was not with it. I was so scattered. <laughs> so then the wedding, like what a big moment in life. Like what the hell, so exciting. And again, just a roller coaster of emotions. And then in between this, you know, you've got just your everyday life, relationships, friends, family, work, trying to make sure I'm present on YouTube. Like it was just a lot. And I think I finally hit a breaking point over the last month. And like every time, oh, like someone would say like, I know you're stressed. It would. And it, like, it's, it just makes me cry. Whew. Even a couple weeks ago, I turned 30. And like, even that's like a huge life event. Like, what the hell? I'm turning 30. <laughs> so I turned 30 and my brother and sister wrote me a card. And in it, they um, said, like, we know that you've been... Because it just makes me cry. Oh, my God. Like, we know that, you know, you've been having a rough time and... Anyway, they wrote some nice things and they booked a, a wine tour um, and like a nice lunch for Clinton and I to go on together and just chill out, which I thought was just the most thoughtful gift. Oh, uh, oh. I thought I was over crying and everything, but clearly I'm not. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, it's just been a lot. And I haven't been uploading on YouTube, but I have trying, 
I have been trying to upload on Instagram. I've actually had like a lot of work coming through with social media, which is fantastic and I don't want to pass up on these opportunities. And even that can get overwhelming because it's like, I don't have anyone telling me what to do. It's not like you go to work and the boss tells you what to do and you can ask questions if you don't know. Google is my boss and I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, <laughs> it's insane, but it's really exciting. I actually have been doing some work with Chemist Warehouse and um, W7 Cosmetics was my first one with them, which was really exciting. But yeah, it's just, it's been a lot. So backtracking a little bit to not having a holiday, not having a break, my counselor was like, you need to book a holiday. You need to take a week off and have a break. And I'm like, okay, like, look, that's good homework. I can do that. So Clinton and I have booked to go away to Port Douglas and Cairns up in Queensland next month. And oh my God, I am so excited like to actually go away. Like not just have a week off and do stuff around the house, like leave go away drink cocktails in the sun like oh my god one of our friends lives in cairns as well so we're going to go visit him and stay with him for a few days oh it's just going to be so nice for brows i'm going to be going in with some flower beauty products i actually did film a testing flower beauty makeup video which i'm hoping i can get up soon um <laughs> the first time i used these was not good oh my god so I put the gel in first and then went in with the pencil wait till you see it it was an absolute mess so I've learnt to do it the other way pencil first gel second I will list all the products that I'm using down below for you as well in case you are wondering because I haven't been mentioning them all mentioning them all wow I can't talk <laughs> But yeah, so I definitely reached a point of burnout. I got really sick for a while as well. Like my body was just like, stop, Tanika, stop it. <laughs> so that kind of forced me to chill out, but it's so hard. Like, does anyone else feel that way where they just find it really difficult to chill? <laughs> I just chill. Even when I was sick, I'm like thinking of all the things that I can get done because I've got extra days off at home. No, you need to chill. I did it, but it was pretty hard. Well, like I compromised. <laughs> but anyway, it's been, it's been a rough couple of weeks and I'm definitely learning to take better care of myself. Going to counseling is one of the best things I have ever done. I absolutely love it and recently I had some situations to deal with and I went in to my counselor and like told her how I'm gonna deal with it um, afterwards I'm gonna make sure I do this this and this because it's very draining and I need to make sure I'm filling up my bucket and she was like oh my god like I'm so proud of you I was like mm, thank you so if you are struggling and just feel that burnout that overwhelm whatever you're struggling with mentally I definitely recommend going and speaking to someone it it's a real big help a really big help because you know you can have other people in your life that support you like I've got Clinton I've got my family I've got my friends I've got work colleagues but it's nice to have someone who's not emotionally attached and just someone else to talk to and let it all out and yeah it's really nice <laughs> So that's that. If you guys have been to Cairns or Port Douglas and have any really fun, exciting things that you recommend we do, let me know in the comments below because I really just want to like obviously relax but do some fun activities and explore while we're up there. I'm really loving the look of these greeny shades in this palette. And considering I've already done like a purple one last week, I should mix it up, shouldn't I? But oh my god, my 30th, 30th was so much fun. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I posted the makeup look on Instagram and I did post an outfit. I don't think I saved it to my highlights though. But go and check out my TikTok if you want to see it because there's heaps of TikToks on it. I'm with it. But like turning 30, what a ride. Like I look back at the last 10 years and just think like how, where did 10 years go? Like what the hell? And I've really been looking forward to turning 30. I feel like it's a new, like every day is obviously an opportunity to start fresh, start different. But I just feel like turning 30, it's like, all right, like I've got a whole 
like 10 years ahead of me, like the next decade, like what's gonna happen? Like, I don't know, it's just so exciting. And I feel like ever since I've been going to counseling, I've really been trying to just work on myself and be a better person and I don't know, figure myself out kind of thing, I guess. Like I've been doing a lot of journaling, a lot of um, like self-development. I don't know, I just wanna be the best version of myself. And especially if Clinton and I are going to start a family one day, there's no like, I don't have a timeline on that, <laughs> but we definitely wanna have a family one day. And like, I just wanna be the best version of myself so that I can give that to my child or children, you know. Oh my God, what a wild ride. All right, I'm going to do one eye and see what happens and then I'll be back to do the other eye. All right, I'm back and I've completed one eye. Very bold, very colorful. Let me show you how I did it. So I just put concealer on my eyelids and I used my, you know it's in front of you, but there it is. Okay. This is my Sigma P88 flat angled brush and I use this to just tap the concealer out and I didn't put any powder on it this time. Then with this small domed brush, this is a Morphe E18. I'm taking this mid green shade and I'm going to place that all through the crease. So I'm gonna pack that color on. Sorry, I'll zoom in and do that so you can see what I'm doing better. So I do have slightly hooded eyes. See how when my eye is relaxed, there's not as much color, but when I lift my eyebrows, there it is. <laughs> so I like to bring that color up quite high above the crease, like above the fold in my eyelid. Once I've packed it on, I will just use the same brush and slowly start to blend out the edges, just very lightly blend out the color that's already there. Then with this Sigma E42 brush, this is just a very tiny detailed blending brush. I'm going to take this light orange here and blend out the top of the green. As you can see, you can't really see it on this side, but it just helps to diffuse the color a bit better. And I'm only doing a very light amount of this because I don't want the orange and the green to go muddy. Next with a pencil brush. This one's by Sigma. I think it's the E30. The name's kind of rubbed off. I'm going to take this deeper green and pop that on the inner and outer corners. Slightly blend it through the crease because I'm doing a halo eye effect. For the center shade, I'm going in with this shimmery green and then I will take this deeper brown just to add some definition to the inner and outer corner. And then I'll go ahead and pop some of those shades on the lower lash line. For the center shade, I'm using my Sigma E56. And then I'll go back in with the pencil brush for the deeper brown. It is about to storm here. I can hear the thunder rumbling. And then for a little extra pop in the center, I've got this BYS and Barbie liquid shadow. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore, but e.l.f. does make a liquid glitter shadow that I really love as well. This one's just more of a deeper gold. So I'm just going to tap a little bit of that in the center. Then I'll put a thin line of eyeliner along my lash line. This is the Essence Tiny Tip Liner, followed by mascara, Maybelline Falsies, and then I've got some lashes here. These are the Ilua pre-glued fluttery light in the style 117. So they're already sticky, you don't need glue. So easy, not messy, I freaking love them. So here's a close up of the lashes and I'm hoping you can see the lash band. See how it's kind of a little bit thicker? Still very, very flexible, but that's just the sticky part on it.
All right, I've just lost all my natural lighting and it is raining pretty heavily. So I'm going to put on some lipstick and quickly wrap this up. This is the NYX Lingerie Double XL in the shade Undressed, one of my new favorites. I curled my hair this morning and it's just completely dropped. I did only wash it two days ago though, so. It's just not dirty enough, I don't think. Oh my God, that's the thing with long hair now. It's so like harder, so much harder to curl and it takes so much longer. <laughs> I'm just like, who can be bothered? Especially when these are the results. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your patience with me. I am Scheduling in to get some content up this month I've got a lot of great videos filmed already and a lot of other ideas in mind So I really hope that I can get them up for you as I said I will list all the products I used down below in the description box if you have any other questions Just leave me a comment though and don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. All right. That is all from me Love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye